and you seem pretty familiar with him because he doesn't really hide his association with this real wild plot uh, that that involves, you know, drinking the blood of children and things like that. But these films are created out of moral panics, they're created out of bogus statistics, they're created out of fear, and with something like Sound of Freedom, it specifically is looking at cue on concepts of these child trafficking rings that are run by the high-level elites, and only people like Tim Ballard, and only people like Jim Caviezel, and by extension, only people like the ticket buyer can help bring these trafficking rings down. So there's a very participatory element. But we draw the line at harvesting their organs. I mean, we're not, I mean, come on, what? What are we, Rothschilds over here? Holy shit, I made that joke. There is a whole nother layer of really crazy shit that's going on, and they don't want people talking about it. That's why these outlets, who've only been wrong, everything that they've said has been fucking wrong. That's not on accident. Then they come out and say, don't go watch this movie. Don't go. This same outlet told you to go watch Cuties. Go watch kid porn on Netflix. It's stunning and brave. And if you don't, then you're a racist. That's them. Their producers are being caught. Kid fuckers. Cameramen being caught. Kid fucking. Then they say, whoa, 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 whoa. Don't go watch this movie. You better go watch that movie then. You better go watch that movie. Look at all of these outlets that don't want you to go see Sound of Freedom. The Guardian. New York Times. Washington Post. CNN. See, they, they were just going to ignore it at first. Uh, we'll just ignore it, all right? We'll just ignore it. It'll go away. It'll fail at the box office. And then you savages bought enough tickets that you beat Indiana Jones last week, and now they're panicking. So now they're saying, okay, well, we can't ignore it because ignoring it got it to beat f***ing Indiana Jones. Okay, well, now we got to go out there and we got to pour f***ing water on this. In, in certain theaters, it's getting the complete opposite of uh, Disney Marvel fucking shit. So Disney Marvel, they will buy tickets to make it look like people are going to go watch Captain Motherfucking Marvel. The entire theaters sold out, but there's nobody in them. That's where all that works. With this movie, entire sold-out theaters are being refunded their tickets back. The air condition broke. They are trying to get people to not watch this movie. That is the best endorsement for go watch this movie. If you can't stomach it, you want to be part. If you want to be part of rescue the Western civilization, if you want to be part of rescue humanity, throw some bucks in Angel Studios' direction. Buy tickets for other people. Look at what we got. These fuckers are freaking out. And they better be freaking out. We know what you're doing. We know who you are. Monstrous pieces of shit. There you have it, my friends. CNN, the Legacy Media went out on a mass article production the last few days. And now they're making entire segments of like, don't watch that, don't watch this movie. Don't watch this movie. Watch the movie.